up with it, girl. Rock with it. Go. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to take you through a full day of eating. So I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to eat today. Um, today is a bit of a funny day for me because it's a bank holiday. So this isn't normally the way my food would fall. But um, I'm going to head training. So it's a full training day. Um, but it's just my meals are going to be a little bit all over the place. So I'm starting out this morning with my pre-workout meal. Um, which is gonna have a bit of carbs and a bit of protein and then post-workout meal and then I'll have to flip them upside down and go meal one, two and three after that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So my pre-workout meal consisted of poached egg, which I normally have every morning anyway, and some bacon medallions just from Aldi, because obviously they're lower in fat than actual rashers. And I also put, um, just to up the protein content, I had some Liberty Greek yogurt with just the my protein flavour drops on top. And then of course my typical apple cider vinegar, which I mix with some warm water and a little bit of honey to take the really horrible sting out of it. So that is pretty much my breakfast. Two bacon medallions on a slim with some ketchup and a poached egg and that's my pre-workout with the Greek yogurt as well. Finito. So yeah the minute I'm finished eating everyone decides to leave the kitchen and I couldn't talk when they were here because they were making so much noise. Anyway that was breakfast so that's my pre-workout meal. I'm gonna go and smash out a session now and then come back and do post-workout shake. I'm going to stick the macros for that meal here and um, so this is a lot higher in carbs than I would normally have for breakfast. Normally my breakfast will be pretty much that meal minus the slim and the Greek yogurt and um, so pretty much carb free and that would be my breakfast but because I'm going to head training now I got a little bit of carbs into me so yeah check in with you for my next meal. <laughs> I'm also going to have one of these NoCo drinks, the pear one. Um, not that I don't normally have pre-workout, um, but I suppose today I'm just kind of like, feck it, it's there and I've loads to do afterwards. So normally I don't take pre-workout because I train so late in the evenings, but um, if I'm having it, like it's 12 o'clock now, it's half 12 even. So, you know, it won't affect my sleep. That's normally why I don't take pre-workout. Plus I don't really like to rely on it, but sure, look, the fact that it's there, they're a nice drink to have, so I'm gonna have that. And before I go and train, I'm gonna pop in to Aldi and pick up a few bits and bobs as well. So, workout finished. Um, that was probably the sweatiest session I've done in a long time. It's really nice out today and the gym was quite warm, um, but I did some circuits so I was absolutely roasted and then I did intervals on the Stairmaster which I am loving at the moment but my god do they make you sweat so I'm gonna go in now and grab my post-workout shake um, and then I'm gonna get myself ready because I'm heading out for a coffee with Danny so I'm gonna show you guys now my protein my post-workout protein shake okay so post-workout shake is going to be 130 grams of strawberries 35 grams of the 35 grams of whey and 100 grams of frozen banana. Come on, come on, turn the radio on. It's Friday night and I won't be long. Gotta do my hair, put my makeup on. It's Friday night and I won't be long till I hit the gun hit the gun I got all I need. No, I ain't got cash. No, I ain't got cash. I got you, baby. Just you. workout shake um, I will put the macros up for it um, but basically just protein and carbs so worth it so really really quick change um, I'm just heading out now to meet Danny for a coffee in the pavilions so I'm not gonna have any lunch or anything like that because I've had my post workout shake and um, I should have a meal really now but because I'm going for a coffee I'm gonna I'm taking a fulfill bar with me to have with my coffee not ideal I don't really have protein bars all that often it's just for convenience like I'm not gonna whip out like I could whip out a turkey burger and sweet potato fries but I'm not going to. Um, I'm just going to have that bar and then when I come home I'll have my post-workout meal. Okay so I am just back from meeting Danny. So now I'm back. I'm just going to grab my next meal which is kind of my pre-dinner meal. So it's just going to be some Greek yogurt, berries and buff bakes. I'm going to show you guys now that. 
some Greek yogurt. Um, I just bought some Glenisk and it's definitely my favourite but this one is going to go out of date in like two or three days so I'm going to use this up but Glenisk is definitely, definitely my favourite. Some buff bake which is nearly all gone. This is too yum and then some raspberries. This stuff is addictive so what I do is I put it on the scales and zero it and go minus so go backwards because it's just too easy to like be like oh yeah that's 20 grams and it's actually like 40. So if you put it on scales and you zero the scales and then you go to minus 25 or however much you want. So mine is 25 so, it's, so one teaspoon to give you an idea is like 15 grams. It's so freaking yum. I'm sure it didn't taste as good. So what is that we're at? 22 so like a little bit more. So that is, you probably can't see the scales now. And then get yeah, to lick the spoon with no guilt because you know you've only taken 25 grams. Whereas normally I put the bowl on the weighing scales and pour on top 25 grams and then there's still another 10 grams on the spoon that I just eat. So anyway, 150 grams of Greek yogurt, 30 grams of raspberries and 25 grams of buff bake macros here. So it's about 20 past six now, so it's kind of late. Um, so I'm gonna get this into me, I have a bit to do, and then I'm gonna get my pre, post, my like final meal. It's not my pre or post anything, it's just my final meal, which is gonna be turkey burger and some sweet potato fries. I'm gonna make homemade. Anyway, this is gonna do me for the next hour or so. So my last meal tonight is, well, I'm gonna have a protein ice cream, but it's gonna be a turkey burger from Kerrigan's and I just made some sweet potato fries. So these are just 200 grams or 200 grams of sweet potato tossed in some rice flour and then a tablespoon of olive oil with the gym chef mm -hmm. Piri Piri seasoning. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna cook my turkey burgers. Okay, so my actual meal meal is homemade sweet potato fries, a Kerrigan's turkey burger on a slim, and some low fat cheese. Yes, there probably should be a salad there, but sure, oh well, it's bank holiday. Treat yourself and all that. Um, so I'll pop the macros for this up here. The sweet potato fries are super easy to make. To make the four of these, I got the little molds in done stores I've clearly already eaten too. Um, it is 200 grams of Glenisk uh, Greek yogurt, and I put in 25 grams away, but I suppose you could put in more, just that was enough to kind of mix into the yogurt. I did also add in some flavor drops from my protein just to make it more vanilla -y. and literally then you just pour them into the molds and freeze them and they make the most perfect little ice pops and um, so these have I'll leave the macros here but they're like 50 50 calories and 10 grams of protein no fat and just a small amount of carbs from the yogurt um, so really minimal carbs but they're just a nice little macro topper offer and they make you feel like you're having something sweet so for the summer they're perfect this is going to be my final meal i'm only going to have one of them so just to kind of top off my macros for the day um, and then i'm going to sit down and chill out and enjoy my monday evening catching up on game of thrones so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it's given you an insight into what i eat in a day it was a little bit upside down normally today i would be in work so i would only be eating my post-workout shake and meal now um but yeah it's basically what I eat in a day, just in a different kind of order, I suppose. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up. So if you do have any questions, leave a comment below and make sure to catch me on Instagram and Snapchat. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later, bye bye.